what? Oh, this thing, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey guys, sorry, I didn't realize my mic wasn't on. First time doing this, <laughs> there's gonna be some learning curves. Um, I thought I would do a little art today. My daughter's gonna be coming home any minute, so she might join us for a little conversation and screaming or happy times. Uh, we're gonna do some animation, just super simple gifts. Um, a lot of people have been DMing me and asking me what programs to use, how to kind of get into it. Um, you'll notice the Captain Passport that I made um, for the space bots is actually done in Procreate and is an animation. And it's just about layering different drawings on top of each other and then playing it back. Uh, a lot of people don't even know that Procreate has a little animation process. It's super basic animation. If you want to go crazy, you can go into a bigger program, but this actually all occurred in procreate so anything is possible if you want to like spend the time and you know when you're just learning who wants to learn a new program when they're just like so creative doesn't really have time for it so that's kind of where i was at i wanted just a little bit of animation so what we're going to do is um work a little on the ipad and 
just see what you guys think. My hope is I do have my messages open. I'm going to do some drawing and I'll keep kind of looking up and seeing if anybody has any comments or questions and we'll just walk you through it. We'll go super simple. Okay, here we go. Um, again, procreate whatever version you have. Um, I usually work off my lap. I'm always portable. Right now, my procreate screen is physically attached to my computer, but not usually. It's just attached so you guys can see what I'm doing. And hopefully when I do, oh, here we go. So let's just show you what we got here. So here's my screen and you can see I can, I'm drawing on it. Uh, give you a good idea. So I'll, I'm going to bring it down. Hopefully not forget any steps. This is not for people. I mean, it could be for anybody, right? Artists who know procreate, it'll be a super breeze for you to, for when I'm walking through some basic steps. For people who don't know Procreate, maybe this would be a really good, cool intro into what it could be. If you are Photoshop users, this is definitely a great transition. Still a learning curve because you're just like looking, where's my bits? And you can't find it. And and it's not, some in some ways, Procreate, I feel like is more, it thinks about the artist more than Photoshop. And then in other ways, I'm just like, why? And I'm sure there are so many parts that I haven't even discovered. Um, but let's just go ahead. I cleared my screen. This is just like layers. If you see, I'm adding layers, just like Photoshop. So if you've used it before, um, then you can, and then if you kind of just go sideways, you can delete all your layers. So this is kind of the start of it. Okay. So what are we doing? First of all, I have been asked to create something animated for people to access on our discord and i've been so busy that i haven't really been able to really focus on that so i thought well i need to do some live streams just to chat and and get to know more people and i thought it'd be really cool if i took brought the art to you and so many people have asked about procreate and how to use it i thought perfect opportunity um, for access in both ways okay so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the brushes I use. I haven't loaded any new brushes. This is all just default. Whatever Procreate has offered, I've been using. There are access to other brushes, but I'm, I'm not really, I, I just kind of see what I have, work with it and figure it out. And eventually it blends in, but you know, there, other artists do it a different way. Um, there are a few kind of brushes I like. I like the drawing brush. Um, I feel like this, if you can see it, is pretty good. And then when, hmm, that's weird. That might, oh, hey, Kate Cat wants to join us. So this is kind of a brush that gives you a nice heavy line, but then also can go super like that. And if you zoom in, it's got this nice like uh, paper texture. This brush is actually the brush I, I used a lot of in Space Bots. All my characters, when I got into procreate with my photography of uh, photographing my oil paintings this was a brush I used a lot of because it it just gave a little bit of texture and since the canvas had texture it just I felt like it was a really good transition into what I was doing um, so that's a good brush to use um, for, for migrating or, or integrating two different kinds of art fine art off canvas or paper digital art find a blend. And another really good thing too is, is lower your opacity a little if you want, just so there's a, it's a, it's a slower transition. Um, because the other problem you're, you, I'm fine. I'm sure you find is that when you're using something like ink, which I also use a lot of, because sometimes you just need a, a hard edge that like does fancy stuff like that, but it has a hard edge. And I feel like that can be trouble if you aren't controlling it with a balance of other things. So um, just know how to use it. Another cool tip is when you're using a, sh a certain brush, it's always smart to have the same eraser. So if you're, if you're um, drawing with the drawing brush, which is this one that we just showed you, then make sure you're drawing, you're erasing with the same drawing brush, because then if you don't, if you see it, it's gonna it's gonna be more natural and organic looking, um, not so obvious that you you know you can have a nice blend, soft shading, um, and I feel like it's really effective and useful. Those are just some tips that I'm I'm talking about. 
those are two brushes I use a lot. I have a few other brushes I use, which I could, will probably go into. Um, but as of, oh, a cat was going to walk on the keyboard. <laughs> that would have been a mess. Um, magic. Oh, uh, cool. Um, hi, everybody. Um, hello, Llama6666. And hello, Tagachi. Nice to see both of you here. Thanks for joining us. Um, okay. Gave you a few tips. We didn't really talk about these over here, but this is just the size of your brush. And this is just the opacity of your brush. We'll absolutely get into it as we go. And I, when I draw, especially when I'm talking to people, I, I do a lot of talking on what I'm doing. So I'll try to keep you in the loop and try not to do anything that's too confusing. Um, hi, uh, hi, family first. Nice to see you guys here. Okay. So if in the messages, when you guys are watching, if you are very new, let me know. If you're all experienced in Procreate, Again, let me know. If there are any tips that you feel like would be useful for me or someone else, put them in and we'll try to keep track of them. Um, I think Procreate is like all artists are learning at the same time. And you know, the more information we give to each other, the better we're all gonna become. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously come up with an idea, right? So I'm dealing with space bots. I'm dealing with GIFs, like these tiny little animations. They don't have to be super high res. I'm dealing with um, I'm dealing with spaceships, guns. Maybe I could fire a gun. Maybe a, a UFO that spins. So I've kind of done that. Like these are the things I'm thinking. I was like, well, maybe I could do like a brain spinning or you know something like that. So like I'm already thinking. Um, I saw a few gifts recently on Twitter that I was like, oh, it was a whole page. So I was like, ooh, that'd be fun too. Maybe I could do a whole page. So that's kind of what I'm having in my mind. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, because it's not just about drawing. Ultimately, it's about thinking about how I'm going to animate it. I'm going to go into my file here. I wonder if I can zoom. I can't zoom that in. So hopefully you guys can see it. Um, and on the second bar down, it says animation assist. I'm going to click that on. And what you see, what you notice is this play window at the bottom. That's Those are my pages. Every time I add a page in a layer, it adds, adds a page on the bottom. So if there was something on each of these pages, it would animate. Um, I think it's important to say that I think there's a way in this program, um, I'm more of a Krita user myself, but I guess the concepts are universal. Cool, yeah, I think so, I think so. Um, interesting thing about this is, I feel convinced. So if anybody knows the answer to this, DM me because I really want to know. I feel convinced that my process of taking an image and having to have it in the next image as a full, like for instance, if I do a full landscape and then I make a person walking across the page, I can't have just the landscape on one layer and then the person walking on the other layers. Or at least I can't seem to figure out how I would do that. So, um, I have a pretty hefty file when I end up doing this. Um, does it, has anybody ever, ever thought of that as well? Basically like animating some scene and being like, wow, I have to copy and paste the background on every single layer. Um, if you have done it, has anybody experienced that? Let me know in the chats because I'm curious to know if that's been a concern for everybody or Maybe there's a trick I don't know about that I'd love to hear, but that's how I've been doing it, which has worked for me, but it's also like, wow, this file is massive. Um, yeah, all over layer. Yeah, I not redo. I, I, family First is saying, Family First is saying, you have to redo the image all over the layer, each layer. I just copy paste. So for instance, if the background and there's a guy walking in front through the background, Every layer has to have the background. And I feel like, why can't I just, unless, I'm trying to think. No, I can't do it that way either. Every layer. I'm sure there's a way of doing some kind of file format. Anyway, we'll get into that. And then again, if you guys can, you know, chime in, that's great. Okay, so uh, let's pretend, let's just start. Let's think. We're going to do even if we're going to do something like this. Now, remember my style is 
definitely more of a sketch format, but let's say we do something like this, like a little ball here. That's what I love about digital too. You just kind of sketch it out. So first thing I'm doing is just coming up with an idea. Um, no way to lock image. Well, there is, okay, that's a good question. So I think Family First is saying, if you lock the image, will it be available for every animation? We're gonna try it. I don't know. Well, let's figure that out together. When we get there, I'll try it. And if that works, oh my God. So again, I started animating. I mean, I'm in the animation field, but I did um, innovation. I was not an animator. Um, I was surrounded by it all the time. So it's like hard not to absorb it, but I wasn't, I didn't do animation. I did innovation. They both start end with the I O N at the end animation, innovation, but they're different. I guarantee you that. So I didn't actually do it. So when I started learning animation, I started learning when I came here, which was like, um, six months ago seven months ago. And I was like, I guess let's try this. So this is when I learned it. So all my tricks are the way that seemed to work for me. But again, there may be, if there's a locking tool, there is a locking, there's a way to lock the layer and we'll see if that is what it, what you can do to do it. Here we go. Okay. So right now I'm just like creating some, Ooh, I mean, you know what I could do too, actually, I was going to make some kind of cool thing, but what I could do is go back to this go across that right let's see and then what i could do i'm gonna like let's pretend we're making like the the rings on saturn so let no 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 question is a noob question llama 6666 sorry quick noob question what's the software you're using here procreate Procreate is on the iPad. I don't know if it's on any other um, tablet, um, but I would check. It's super fun. It's super easy. Um, it's very uh, artist friendly. And what we're going to try to do is animate and make a GIF. So first thing is I'm just kind of sketching and coming up with an idea. And I think I have an idea. I think it might be cool um, to make it like a planet, like for, for instance, Saturn, right? And so right now, all I'm doing is creating the idea of the drawing. So ultimately I have Saturn and now I'm like, now this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, how do I animate the rings to go around because it, the rings move, at least that's what I hear. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe someone can correct me <laughs> in the chat. It's be like, no, Tori, they don't move. I'm like, oh, true, sorry. well, they're moving now. So I'm going to try to make the rings move. So I am going to make several layers of rings. So I'm going to start by cleaning up this layer really fast. Again, this is, um, in fact, I'm going to do it even better. Now that I know what I'm drawing, I'm going to create two layers. See, the reason why it turns red is because now it's telling me that this red is the layer underneath. So I have a blank layer. So if I draw something, see how the new resources, the new layer is in the color that I'm actually using. So red is your your thing. But if I, I hear my daughter crying, she's home. If I do a clipping mask, it turns black because now it's saying you have a new layer, but it is on your, it's affecting the, the main layer. Um, llama six 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 thanks and just llama will do easier on the syllables. Yes, okay, great, llama, awesome. Oh, and there's my little baby. So we're gonna sh by mistake. Yeah. Oh, honey. And I didn't like it. You didn't like it at all. No. You know what I'm doing? Can I'm you set you up. Can you come down there and don't let me? Yeah. Give me a few minutes. I'll be down, okay? Oh, tell mama. Oh, tell mama you need a snack, okay? I love you. She just came home from kindergarten. She's so sad. Okay, so I've decided to break it up in layers. I'm going to do the circle or the planet. 
itself, the actual circle on one layer, and then I'm going to start doing a few rings on other layers. Then we can control and we can make this kind of thing happen. So I have my sketch, um, which would be funny if I locked it, but let's start with just creating um, a circle. And we're going to make a new one. Now I know the size, kind of what I want to do. Um, if I was doing crazy, I would go clean it up. No need right now. And then on the next layer, I'm going to just create a ring. Um, I think what I'm going to do is create the full ring. And then on this one, I'm going to fill it in with white. Ooh. I'm going to change my brush because that's very... Let's see, here we go. And then I'm just going to fill in with the white so then you don't see the ring. And again, I'm not being very clean. I'm just being enough to um, cover the areas. Okay. So now it's got white, so it's not going to mess me up. And then I'm going to also go back to this layer. And you can see the red. Like, that's all just... The, it, it's very confusing sometimes when you see these layers. Um so Lama says, that's very helpful. I was going to ask if a different shade should have been used for sketching the previous layer. Um, yeah, exactly. No, it's very helpful, but it also can be confusing. I can, if I have too many layers of, of this shadow, I get confused. So one of the things I do is when I'm just kind of getting my idea out, I can go into the settings below at the bottom and it says, onion skin frames and and then I can go to zero and then the red disappears or I can go to one layer at a time or I can say I want it a lot lighter like I can't deal with seeing so maybe that maybe that's more my jam right um okay so then I created one um one ring right I'm gonna create another I'm really lazy I I am fast I I really appreciate speed so anything to do to save time. So I'm just going to duplicate. I'm just going to um, grab the pointer and I'm going to enlarge it a little. And at this point, I'm just enlarging it, scaling it to, to um, it, it's all equal, right? But if I want it to freeform, because I didn't want it to be exactly the same, I could click this little one down here, freeform in blue. And then I, and then it'll just like, I can do whatever I want. Like I can, I can kind of rotate it at the axis of that point. So let's say I make it bigger, but I also, I also want to make it squatter. And in fact, Freeform's not doing it for me. So I'm like, God, God, I'm in technology. Why isn't this working? There's another way. You can go distort, which is that one, and then have more um, capability of doing like just thing. And then maybe I want to tilt it a little, right? So then I'm going to have this one, and that one, and I'm going to now just delete my drawing. because I feel like I have enough to inform me. And now, because the ball, the rings will always be with the ball unless it explodes, which could happen. That sounds hard, but the rings always are with the ball. So right now they're separate layers. So you only see them one at a time, right? But I can now click on the layer that is it's, its child. The parent is the ball. The child are the rings. And then that's also modeling terms. So if you have done modeling, it makes a little more sense too. I'll go over to the layer field and I'll say clipping mask. Now, and I'll do this one too, clipping mask. Oh, but I can't do that. See, I'm learning. If I, if I do clipping mask, it keeps it within the shape, the circle. Anything outside the circle disappears. I was like, wait, what's happening? Oh, so what I can do is actually put them all in a group, a folder. If you, if you take all of the files and clip mask them and they all disappear because of the cropping problem, take them all and put them in a file. Um, and then you'll notice down below in your little animation guy, if you, you see over here down at the bottom, um, there's your layer. And it's got all the three things that you need. So keep it in a folder. Now, um, I'm going to go because I know they're related. I'm going to just erase this stuff because that's behind the planet. And that would make me look like I'm not thinking 
I don't know half the time. I go on autopilot. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, also, other thing we can do. Um, let's say we want, and I'm going to erase this too. Let's say we want um, some texture on the ball. You can do that. And you don't have to do it on the ball. You can just, again, add another layer for now so you don't mess up your base. Get your paintbrush. Go to, like, start looking at fun elements. Um, this might be cool. Crystals. It's like a, it's so cool. Oh, well, maybe I try something other than white. Um, I'm going to, like, maybe that. Maybe we go really big and we just like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, they really are crystals. Look. You see it? That's funny. Sometimes I get distracted. Okay. Let's try. I don't know. This is the like the fun part. Like you're just, ooh, that's very small. But like, this is where you get to play. Oh, you see what that is? Like, that's cool. Um, okay, let's try that. Okay, so we're in, uh, we're gonna just like add that for now. We're gonna erase around it. So it's like, I guess I could have um, selected the layer and just filled it in. And then why don't I add another layer above it? And this time I will use clipping mask because I wanna be lazy and just strike it like over it. I literally wanna just take my brush and just draw over it in a very lazy fashion. And I don't want to go outside the lines. So like I'm like scribbling all over and the only place it's hitting is the target. Um, so again, if you can see my layer, this is a layer that has been clip masked to the texture that I applied. And since it's clip mask, it will only hit the surface that I want. If I unclip mask it, I'm a flop, sloppy Joes, people, sloppy Joes. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to make an assumption that we all like this color. If you guys have a different suggestion in colors, please let me know what it is. Okay, so we're going to clip mask, and then I'm big on filters, right? Because because I'm bringing my work from the real paint world, like this is a painting I did, oil painting, right? That's an oil painting. Um, textures, all of that stuff, so much fun. Um, maybe, maybe I'll bring in, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll bring in some texture. Should we bring in some texture? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't like this texture in my brush. Maybe I bring in some real texture. So then we would um, hit this little guy and say add. And let's, um, let's see, let's in. Oh, actually, I can grab it. Here are my files, guys. You're seeing like the inside of my files. This is Procreate and this is how they save files. Um, so for instance, if I go, my lady who I've been working on, she's oil and digital, and you can kind of see all my layers. But then at the bottom, like this layer is the base layer that I painted her on. And then I cut her out and patched the whole of her. And then I created a nice texture layer. So I could kind of do like, because of this random randomization, it's all complicated and you've got to like do it in a very specific format, which we can talk about. Um, and yes, um, Lama, clip masks are so important. Ha! I don't think I'd survive without them. So we're going to steal this. We're going to go um, copy. So that's just taking that layer. I'm going to go back to my gallery. This is fun. I feel like there are some other things that they could offer us in Procreate that someday I'll ask them for. Um, but right now we're going to say copy and then we're going to say paste. Oh, there's my canvas. Now, check that out. That is the wood texture underneath the gessoed board. And then that's some oil on it. That was like, if I hadn't taken out the character, there would be a character in the middle of it that I oiled and made a sketch of. And then I put it, photographed it, put it in, cut it out and did all of that. Um, I can do some sessions on that. I would be thrilled to show you my entire process where I take a painting, I bring it in, I cut it out and just like walk you through that. Um, I feel like that would be super cool for people to see. And we'll schedule that because um, I know not everybody can make certain times. Okay, 
So now we've got this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, clip it to the circle. Let's see what that does. It may go well, it may not. No, it doesn't go well. You know why? Because I didn't fill the circle. So see how it only did the edge? Because that's the only part of the sh that exists. So what I'll do first is I'm going to take that circle and I'm going to fill it in with an ellipse. If I could see it. Yeah, oh, there it is. And then I'm going to go like this. This is an interesting to thing too, is if somebody knows this, if someone knows Procreate on this little feed, tell me how I take the circle marquee, I drag it in place. I know you can't even see it. Yeah, you can right here, right? Drag it in place, but I want to move it. I want to, I want to let go of the pen and then I want to move it. Like in Photoshop, if you hit space bar, then you can move your marquee around. I still, I'm going to look that up because that's, that's hard. So then I'm just going to go ahead and fill in, ooh, wrong brush. I'm just going to fill in this area. Okay. Really, again, just being a little on the sloppy side, I can always um, not do it on the right layer. That would help add a layer. Okay. So we make it and then that's another way too. I guess I can make it, but I don't want to have to do this and, and rotate it and size it. So I'm going to just size it to its location. Why am I doing this? Texture on the planet. Um, and this is the creative part. This is just me having fun. So now I'm going to select that circle that I made. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clip mask. Oh my. And then if I want, never mind the green. And wait, what maybe, maybe I don't like that part. So now that it's clip mask, remember, I should be able to move this around. Maybe I don't like that part. Maybe I want to be like, I want a little bit of like noise or maybe I want the end. Who knows? Maybe I want this. Okay. A little bit of white, a little bit of color. Now I clip mask and now I have a little bit of more texture. That's one thing. The other thing, which is super cool is I can now take this layer. Often I duplicate it because once you do it, either you undo it or you just have a little guy waiting to undo, like correct it. But I like to, I am big also on um, adjustments. And because I think, I feel like adjustments are like happy accidents. Um, so I'm going to take curves. I'm going to just like really emphasize that texture, you know, that kind of thing. That's what I would do. And then I might, um, duplicate that. Now that I'm like, I'm happy, I'm probably going to just take this and put it at the bottom and make it unknown. And then the second layer, I think I'm going to go back to adjustments and change the color. Like maybe something like that. And then I can mask that. And if I'm going too fast, I'm kind of just like walking through that organic part. And then we can always go back. I haven't even done any of the, the stuff that I talked about doing. Maybe we'll have to make this like a three part um, or f um, are you guys digging the colors? We got like a gold and a green and let me show you what I do, but we can change it. What's so great is even though you change the color, what I found is when you go back to the saturation um, layer and you change the color again, it's still the same, co same color world. So you can go back to the color you did recreate a new color doesn't really screw it up um llama family first um tagachi who else do we have in here do you guys have a preference um in the color like are you cool do you feel like the colors are working so far i know it's really hard to see um let's see i'll show you what let's show you what it does so now i'm going in i don't know if you see this you see how I'm like inviting a little green into that? That's like cool. And the other thing is maybe on in a planet, the texture doesn't all go one way. So I can also um, duplicate this, bring this to the, bring this to the top, and then rotate. Let me go this. Rotate. There we go. Ooh. And then uh, this is another thing I like are these filters which is under the N and then watch. Ooh, hold on. Let me show you what I'm doing. Now I'm 
now I'm, it's getting real. Like, um, oh yeah, you like the colorway. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of like a, the, you're saying seafoam greenish, yes. Oh, that's kind of fun too. So, oh, whoa. Some of these get a little crazy, but at the same time, I kind of like sometimes it, it works really well for like chrome. Um, let's try that. Let's see what this looks like. That's kind of fun. Okay. Super simple. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm playing with filters. I'm duplicating layers. Um, that's fine. Now we go, now that we've done that, um, I can also just take this and flatten it if I want. I definitely have to flatten before I do any kind of animation because that's a lot of layers used up, but right now we're fine. So this could technically be the first layer and also maybe we add one more ring um and then let's see llama i'm fine with whichever color but wondering if changing the parent colors will reflect on all the child layers as well you mean when you ask that you mean um the child layers being the rings these guys because they're above it's like photoshop if there's color below it, it doesn't affect the the above layers, especially if it's in a folder. Um, and if you want to clarify that, if I didn't answer it, just go for it. I'm happy to um, talk about it. So now we have um, these looking pretty cool. Ooh, wait. Wait. I have a good idea. I'm going to change the background color to like this for now because we got to like see the effectiveness of this and then I am going to take these and what I'm going to do again do the same thing I'm going to change the color to like a yellow let's let's start there and see what this does okay let me um use an ink okay here we go Change of the color. Man, you probably can't see that. My wife always tells me that um, when I'm showing, I'm like, hey, what do you think of this? And she's just like, can you zoom in? And I'm always like zooming it out to thumbnail stamp size. I'm like, you know, you don't need to squint if it's that small. Like, And she's like, I, can't, I, I, I don't even know what this is. And I'm like, oh, apparently I'm the only one who knows what I've been drawing for hours at a time. Um, Okay, so here we go. Doing the next one. Again, I did clipping mask, so I can be really lazy about it. But again, if I unclip it, you see I'm just scribbling. So I'm clipping it back on. Now we have this kind of cool concept, right? Um, the plant, okay, so you're saying, so Lama, you're saying the planet texture color. Yeah, that won't be, that won't affect anything but what I have it attached to. And right now, because I've, I've, um, clip masked it onto the circle everything above it won't be affected um so now we are going to give these guys i think that's great great color i'm merging it if with a clipping mask you can just merge i'm going to merge down and then i am going to um bloom them does anybody know what bloom is it's very fun um i'll show you Okay, here we go. So first I go into this little brush up top where it's blue, it's second one over. Then I go down to the this one, which says bloom, and then check this out. I can change the aura of it. Like I can go simple like that, or I can start to give it that, and then I can burn it, baby. So there's one, and then maybe, maybe I add another guy. And then maybe that guy is rotate a little. So again, I just, here we go. I just duplicated. Maybe I go this way. I'm rotating. Maybe he's really off. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Maybe it's just like really crazy. Um, and they're all spinning in different directions. And he's just like that. That's kind of cool. So then that one, I, I've decided that I'm going to Change the color to I don't know, a little bit, a little more green, and then kind of clip mask. And give that just a slight, you know, 
Maybe it's not enough. Maybe I didn't go deeper. Uh, yeah. Right? Just a little. So when you see it, I might even do it more. Maybe one will slowly be rotating like this while the others are just spinning around. Who, who knows? Um, but when you look at it, it's going to be like, like wobbly. Um, so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to merge it because I like it. Um, that didn't work. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I'm merging this guy. Merge down. I'm going to take him in. I'm going to bloom him. Um, and I'm going to, so that I'm going to amp it up. It's like you go across the screen. Like I'm doing this to my screen. Whoop. Um, that's next time I'm going to set up the camera so you can see my physical, like when I'm jamming, you can see all the movements. Um, and then, oh man, I lost the bloom. Let's go back. I'm going to go bloom. I was dancing too much. Go like this. So yeah, look, check that out. Obviously, we don't want to go too much, but look at like maybe maybe we do go, go crazy and see what like what is all this? What is all this? Oh, that's did you guys see that? Check that out. Like it goes, but then it like it's like a haze, like a like a stepping haze. That's interesting. Will that animate? I guess we can find out. Let's keep it. See if it animates. It might not. It might be bad. But let's try it. Um, okay, so we have three different rings. Um, I feel like I want them all to glow a little because I love glowing things. But maybe just that one's a little. So we have three different spatial glowing. We need to remember that we're going to want to keep the pieces separate, right? So we can rotate and move them. And right now I'm like, oh yeah, cool texture. Though I do wonder, what is that? Like, see that little, what is that? Is that, oh yeah. Okay. So let's just, let's take my sketch off a second. Does that still look good? Can you even see, you don't even see the sketch. So why do I have it? I don't anymore. Okay. And I also see that I didn't go far enough. And when you bloom something, um, you got to be careful because then you manage, you have to start like trying to patch things because if your bloom, ooh, wow, whoa, if your bloom doesn't make it, it's like you got to blend it in so it looks like it did, you know? So I'll just start out by, again, being super lazy and when it's moving, you probably won't notice. Like, you can actually get away with a lot. Um, but for now, I'm just going to make it like that. That's fine. Okay. All right. So, um, you like it? All right. Um, and then Lama saying, animating multiple sets of parent-child layer groups would be so cool. Oh, like it. Cool. Okay. We're good. We're good. I mean, it's cool, right? Wait. We could even do like the background doesn't have to be so like nothing there. So lame. We could actually rather than just use this. And this is what I'm talking about. The background. I'm going to try to lock it. I don't know if that will work for what we're talking about, but I'm going to try. Okay. So we're going to make a dark layer. Um, hello. Making a dark layer. And right now I'm on that layer. So you see nothing. But if we go beyond that layer, you see everything. So we have a dark layer. Look at how the yellow makes it look brown. So maybe we'll even go a little darker and maybe we'll go cooler to compensate for the fact. Okay, hold on one second. My laptop is running low on power. Woo! Oh, my camera. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Let's see. Let's see if I can hook this up. Manage. Some... Hmm. I might have to brief second. Oh man, guys, I don't think I have. What's so funny is my laptop was fully um, functional. I'm I think we have maybe a few few more minutes before my laptop dies. I don't have another power cord, and my one power cord is connected to my laptop. So I think if I disconnect, I think if I disconnect my laptop, 
my iPad. I go, that goes. Should we try? I might screw things up. Are you guys ready? If I screw it up, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be, I'll be back. Okay, let's try it. I'm scared. I'm afraid. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Can't do that. Okay. So now I got to get it back. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. There it is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to end this and I know we haven't animated yet. I know we haven't animated and I want to, um, but I'm, I, I don't think I can actually do that <laughs> with my access next time, double power cords. But if I go downstairs, my daughter, sometimes it's just not worth it. Okay. So, um, last thing is, is now that we have these things going and we've got some color going, I was going to just say, let's do a background. Let's break this up where, um, we do the art today and tomorrow. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I have to change the color. So like we do this and we go like this type of thing, or maybe go smaller, like figure out kind of how you want to do the stars. I mean, I would just do something like this, you know, and then fade. Oh, I know. Hold on. Add a layer and then. But now that we are actually running and everything's going effectively, this will be a lot of fun when we do this again, which is we'll have to do it tomorrow, I guess. Right. Um, so I'm going to just choose paintbrush and then, oh, I like this one. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So that kind of looked like stars, right? I've used this in a few of my, um, my paintings that I've sold. And then, um, this again, if you want all of these scenes to be, let me try to lock it as the alpha lock. No, alpha didn't work. No, locking doesn't work. Doesn't keep it as a, as a full. We'll have to look into that though. Um, because I want to find out if we could just have one layer. So what I would have to do is I'd have to go up and put this in the folder like this. Come on. Put this. And now you can see it as background. Um, and then same thing here. So that's kind of the idea. And that the reason why that's black actually is because it's not in the flare. There we go. Look at what that the yellow is doing though. Do you see the the bu -bu 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 all the way across? All right. So whoa, we've created um, this, and now we have stars, and we're starting to create atmosphere. Uh, I want to come back tomorrow um, 